Before we get started, I apologize for the quality of this video. I'm shooting it from my phone. Did you know that Google keeps track of every single thing that you have ever searched while you've been signed into Google forever? And they will continue to keep that information until you tell them not to do it anymore. Would you like to see what they have on you? Would you like to see what they know you've been searching for? Just type in history.google.com backslash history. Let's take a look. Now my history is going to be boring because I turned mine off a long time ago. You're going to get a Google My Activity screen. In my case, the most exciting thing that's happened on mine is I searched for a Batman the Killing Joke movie review. Most people are unaware though how to turn everything off and so their history is much more colorful, let's just say, than my history. Would you like to know how to turn yours off so Google's not keeping track of every little thing you search for? Just go to Activity Controls. And here you will find a wide list of interesting things that you can tell Google you don't want them keeping track of. First and foremost, and perhaps the most important one, your web and app activity. As you can see, mine is paused. There's a little switch here where I can turn it on if I wish. Many times, there's a great many reasons you may not want people to be able to see your, your search activity. In my case, I don't want to have to explain why I'm looking up what the members of NSYNC are doing now. I'm sure that your reasons are just as valid. The next thing that you can turn off is your location history. Now, uh, as unbelievable as this may seem, I leave mine on for different reasons. But yes, Google keeps track of where you are and when you're there. So if you're planning on committing any crimes, you want to make sure that you don't have your Google enabled device with you because they know where you are. Next, your device information. I don't really feel that Google needs any of this information, so I've turned it off. They don't need to know who I'm talking to. Voice and audio activity. Here's another scary one. Not only does Google keep track of your searches, but if you do audio searches, they keep the recording of you doing that search forever. Your voice is in the Google database. So I turned that one off as well. Here we go, YouTube search history. I did leave that one on because I'm not really looking up anything I'm too worried about on YouTube. Uh, as you can see, my, my list of things is pretty boring. Now people may laugh at some of my musical choices, but I'm okay with that. Also, it helps Sometimes you see a video and you want to go back and find it. If you have your search history on, it's a lot easier. I've also left my YouTube watch history on, which again is basically so I can find old YouTube videos. And now we've come to the end of things that we can tell Google to quit keeping track of. But yes, long ago I disabled the web and app activity. And if you value your privacy, I would suggest you do the same. Remember, we got there from activity controls. I hope you enjoyed today's quick tutorial of how Google keeps track of every single thing you do. And I apologize again for the crappy, crappy look at the video because I shot it from a phone. Have a great day. If you found this video helpful or interesting, don't forget to put a like on it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.